Ever wondered how to make the perfect sambar at home? Well, you're in the right place. Sambar, a staple in South Indian cuisine, is a nutritious and flavorful dish packed with a variety of vegetables and lentils. This hearty stew is not only comforting and delicious, but also a great way to incorporate a diverse range of vegetables into your diet. Today, we'll guide you through the process of creating the perfect sambar right in your own kitchen. So stay tuned to learn how to create this delicious meal. Now, to start with, let's gather all the necessary ingredients. This delightful recipe calls for one cup of cooked and mashed lentils, half a cup each of finely chopped tomatoes, onions, eggplant, pumpkin and zucchini. We'll also need two tablespoons of vegetable oil to saute our vegetables. The spice mix is simple yet flavorful, consisting of a teaspoon each of turmeric, ground coriander, cumin and red chili powder. Feel free to adjust the heat level to your preference and of course we'll season with salt to taste. To bring everything together, we'll need two cups of water and the juice of one lemon to add that tangy kick. There you have it, a vibrant medley of ingredients that will soon transform into a delicious bowl of sambar. Remember, the best part about cooking is you can always tweak the recipe to your liking, so don't hesitate to get creative. With all these ingredients ready, we can start cooking. Now that we have all our ingredients, we can start preparing our sambar. Our first step is to saute the onions. Take a deep pot and warm two tablespoons of vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and stir until they turn transparent and golden. Once the onions are ready, it's time for the vegetables. Add the diced eggplant, pumpkin and zucchini to the pot. Stir them around for about five minutes or until they start to soften. Next, we add the chopped tomatoes to the pot and stir them for another two minutes. Now it's time for the mashed cooked lentils. Add these to the pot and give everything a good stir, making sure the lentils are well incorporated with the vegetables. With the lentils in the pot, we can now add our spices. Sprinkle in one teaspoon each of turmeric, ground coriander, ground cumin and ground red pepper. Don't forget the salt. Adjust the amount to your taste. Mix everything together well, ensuring all the vegetables and lentils are coated in the spices. Once the spices are added, pour in two cups of water. Let the sambar simmer over medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. This will allow all the flavors to blend together and the vegetables to become tender. Just before serving, squeeze in the juice of one lemon and stir well. This will give your sambar a bright, tangy flavor that really complements the spices. And there you have it, your homemade sambar is ready to be served. This hearty, flavorful dish is perfect served hot with rice or bread. Remember, this recipe is versatile Feel free to add more vegetables or adjust the spice levels to suit your personal preference. Enjoy the process of creating this delicious and healthy sambar at home. Now let's discuss how to serve your delicious homemade sambar. This aromatic and flavoursome dish is best served hot, making it a perfect comfort food for all seasons. Pair it with a bowl of freshly steamed rice or a piece of fluffy bread, and you've got yourself a wholesome meal that's not just tasty but also packed with nutrients. The beauty of cooking is that there's always room for creativity. This sambar recipe is highly adaptable to your personal preferences. If you'd like, you can add more vegetables to make it even more nutritious. Feel free to play around with the spice levels too. If you're a fan of heat, go ahead and add a little more red chili powder. If you're not, simply reduce it. The choice is all yours. Another exciting aspect of this dish is the ability to try it with different vegetables. Maybe you have some carrots, green beans, potatoes, bell peppers or okra lying around in your refrigerator. Why not throw them into your sambar? Each vegetable brings a unique flavour and texture, making your dish taste different each time. That's it for today's video on making the perfect sambar at home. Remember the key to a great dish lies in experimenting. Don't be afraid to adjust this recipe to suit your taste. After all, cooking is an art and you're the artist. So go ahead, enjoy your cooking, and most importantly, enjoy your delicious homemade sambar.